What's a signal that a company may struggle over the next year? Look at the behavior of the CEO. Case in point, Tesla. You can hear in Elon Musk's voice and in his recent behavior that he's under a great deal of pressure and that shit is about to get real. And so where specifically will you be in terms of uh, you're, you're capital next. requirement? Next. Next. Boring bonehead questions are not cool. Next. What, how, what percentage have actually taken um, a step to configure? We're going to go to YouTube. Sorry. These, these questions are so dry. <laughs> They're killing me. When you're a CEO, it's your job to answer stupid questions, especially questions from the investors who've allowed you to raise money at four times revenues versus less than 0.45 times revenues for peers, including General Motors. This is reminiscent of the days of Enron. You're the only financial institution that can't produce a balance sheet or a cash flow statement with their earnings. <laughs> well, you, 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 well uh, thank you very much. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. <laughs> Musk's tirade took the company down 7%, translating into an immaturity tax that cost shareholders $3.5 billion. There's no doubt Mr. Musk is clearly under tremendous stress and the board is not doing their job. They rejected two proposals to change board leadership, including one that would have removed Musk from the chairman position and split it into two positions, CEO and chairman. What they need to do is tell him that it sucks to be a grown-up. However, we could be wrong. As Kara Swisher highlighted in our interview yesterday, it's not that he's coming off the rails, it's just that he's sick of doing very ambitious things and getting 70 or 80% of the way there and then getting heckling from the cheap seats. He's landing a rocket on like a platform in the middle of the ocean. This is not easy stuff. He's making a car. Like he's trying to change transportation. And whatever you think of him, these are difficult, doing big, things. big things. And yeah. so if he gets 70% of the way there, yeah. what some of the press does, and me too, is say, what happened to that 30%? It, ignoring the fact that he got 70% of the way there. I think even if he doesn't succeed at it, what he's doing is important. No, he's going to change the world. That's right. We're moving to so, electric, so that's even the, if Tesla's That's the not. only reason I give him just a little yeah. more, yeah. like over some dumb, stupid photo app that people argue over. Tesla has an amazing product. I bought it because I want to signal to the world that I am hippie, granola, and rich, i.e. have sex with me. Anyways, the company lacks the frictionless networking effects of a Google or Facebook and doesn't have the Hermes-like margins of an Apple. Yet it's trading at a valuation reflective of a firm that can scale like a Facebook or generate the profits of an Apple. And by the end of the year, Tesla analysts will begin wringing their hands over liquidity concerns in dilution. We predicted the stock would fall for these reasons. However, the stock rallied after the board meeting on Wednesday as the shareholder resolution to separate the CEO and chairman roles was voted down. This was taken as an endorsement of Musk's leadership and the stock skyrocketed. So, so far, we're wrong. So far. We'll see you next week.